this time it ain't a game, yeah MJ with the six rings, yeah Y'all better switch out your plays, yeah On five with the little flame, yeah Bad boys, bad boys What you gonna do? What you gonna do when you come for you? Bad boys, bad boys What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is Mike, and today I'm gonna get my thoughts on Bad Boys for Life. I'm, I'm gonna get my thoughts on this movie pretty much before I go see the movie, and I'm gonna recap the first Bad Boys and the second Bad Boys. Now, the first, now, I'm gonna start off by talking about my prediction, well, what I think about Bad Boys for Life. The first one came out in 1995, and it's 2020. And I remember it was being announced, and everybody was excited. And I was excited because I'm got because i I'm a huge fan of Martin Lawrence. Uh, Martin Lawrence, to me, is the best host of all time, like com comedy host of all time. And he's one of my favorite comedians of all time, probably top five comedians he in that same list of categories with Bernie Mac, um, Chris Tucker, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it's so many greats, but I digress. Um, and he came together with Will Smith, and it was directed by Michael Bay. Now, um, Michael Bay is the <laughs> is the director that make that made those horrible Transformer movies. <laughs> so. But this honestly wasn't a bad movie. The very first one wasn't on it wasn't a bad movie. I enjoyed the first one. And one thing I know in the black community that this movie is very this franchise of the Bad Boys is very very popular amongst um African Americans like myself. So the first one is all about um <clears throat> like two to, it's like a it's a buddy cop movie. So pretty much Martin Lawrence and Will Smith characters are cops and they're fighting crime and one thing about it, I'm gonna talk about their personalities and how each character grow. One thing each one thing about it that the characters really doesn't pretty much stays the same. Throughout the very very first one and the very second one, um, I feel like um, they haven't really grown. Like Will Smith is, character is pretty much your um, adrenaline um, head. Um, he wanted to be a cop. Um, his family. He's rich. Um, he's a womanizer. And Martin Lawrence character. He's a lot. Less he he's a lot more he's more of a family man, um and you bring those two dynamics together which will bring two very funny movies, um two very a very funny movie and one thing about the Bad Boys now Bad Boys one was to me a very good movie, it was about <clears throat> excuse me I'm sick guys so bear with me if my voice sounds messed up but Bad Boys 1 is pretty much they found this girl they put her in they have to protect this girl now it's kind of like they swip they swap identity so Martin Lawrence character is supposed to um, play uh, is supposed to act like Will Smith character and Will Smith character is supposed to act like Martin Lawrence character and you get a really funny dynamic, like, you get a lot of, um, Martin Lawrence character, he, remember, he's a family man, and he's married, so, he actually gotta, um, stay with this girl that he's protecting, and, uh, while, on the other hand, um, Will Smith character is staying with, um, Martin Lawrence character's wife, so, you got scenes in the first one where Martin Lawrence's character is um, paranoid and thinking his best friend is cheating, is um, sleeping with his wife. And you get, this is, like, the first one is just um, an incredible movie. It's an hour and 59 minutes. Great movie. Um, Bad Boys 2. Bad Boys 2, um, 
Okay. It was also directed by Michael Bay. And you get the same characters. And one thing about this movie that makes it different. Now they both directed by Michael Bay. And it got it introduced a new character a new character which is Mark which is Gabrielle Union. She plays um Martin Lawrence character's sister. So he's the sister she's the sister of Martin Lawrence character. And um, on the side note, I have the most biggest crush on Gabrielle Union. Uh, from a very long time, um, from Cradle to the Grave with Jet Li and DMX. I just love um, Gabrielle Union. I think she's a phenomenal actress. Um, this movie, pretty much the same, but it has different dynamics where it talks about Martin Lawrence's character. His name, well, first let me tell you these uh, characters. So, Will Smith's character name is Mike Lowry, and uh, Martin Lawrence's character name is Marcus, uh, is Marcus, so, Bur Burnett, so, um, so pretty much Marcus' character, um, is going to, is going to transfer, and he's, and Mike Lowry's character is going to get a new partner. So one thing I do like with this movie that these two are supposed to be best friends. However, they are hiding secrets from each other. Like the one with Marcus, he's thinking about transferring, transferring, and Mike Lowry has to get a new partner. While Mike Lowry's Will Smith character is now sleeping with Marcus' sister, dating. So sleeping, dating, same thing. They met in New York, and you know what happens. So now this movie is about the Cuban cartel. The Cuban cartel, um, pretty much. I thought this movie was great. Um, so they have to face the Cuban cartel, and yeah, it it was it was it was a great concept. However, I do feel like the movie was a little too long. Now remember, the first movie was two hours. Now this movie is. It added 26 more minutes to the movie, and to me it was too long. Eventually, I was waiting for the movie to end. It did have a um, a pretty good ending, I think, but overall, yeah. So now let's talk about Bad Boys 3 and my thoughts on Bad Boys 3. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, when I first saw the trailer, and then when I really think about it, I'm not really hyped for this movie. I am going to go see it, but I'm not really hyped for this movie. I really think that Bad Boy, I really think that Bad Boys 3, Bad Boys for Life, is going to be a, it's going to be a, your standard summer blockbuster movie with a lot of action, some comedic moments, and not a lot of, um... <sighs> <clears throat> Excuse me, and not a lot of plot. <laughs> kind of like what the second one became. Even though the second one did have great concepts, it was still not the best plot, I, I, in my opinion. But yeah, that's what I think. Now I do like from um, they have the opportunity to continue the franchise as if as they have a new generation of teams and. Um, you got my, you got Marcus character is going is going into retirement and he's gonna come back for another mission. Which is cool. Um I'm a, uh, which is cool. I think it's a cool concept. Um and um I don't think Michael Bay is directing the movie. Let me see who's the who's the director of of this movie. Um, I don't know if Michael Bay, uh, I'm no, I don't know why I'm forgetting the director, uh, ooh, um, Billy I. Fire, and, um, I think they're Arab, Arabic, I believe, no, they're white, um, yeah, so they're directing the movie, um, I don't, let me think. I don't know what movies they directed because I'm not really familiar with these with these directors. Um, yeah, they pretty much are new directors. So yeah, um, yeah, 34 years old. So yeah, um, that's what I think. Bad Boys, 
Um, three is going to be a. I'm I'm not really seeing the hype around the movie. I don't think. I think it's going to be a fun movie, and of course, it's gonna it's gonna make a lot of movie because of course, Bad Boys is coming to the screen. But honestly, if I'm being honest with you guys, I think 2020 is not going to be a good year for movies. I will do a follow up video on movies for 20 for for the year of 2020. I'm gonna get my thoughts on each movie. Uh, that's gonna be a long video, but yeah, I'm gonna get my thoughts on each video. But yeah, guys, that'll do it. Um, tell me if you guys agree, if you are excited or you're not excited for Bad Boys Three, cause I'm I'm really not seeing the um, hype around the movie. But yeah, guys, that'll do it. Guys, please like, comment, and since please please give this video a like if you like the video. Um. Comment, give, give me your thoughts on Bad Boys. What's your favorite moment from Bad Boys? My favorite moment was probably the, the in the beginning. No. Um, <laughs> where, um, the, the part two, I love when um, Marcus got drunk. Well, he, well, no, he, he, he ingested, um, um, a legal drug by accident and he was high and they had to go into the bus's, um, <laughs> house to get um uh a, a warrant not yeah a warrant a search warrant but yeah i think that was a cool concept i think that was pretty funny um uh, martin lawrence and will smith have good concept got good chemistry and charisma of course but yeah guys please like comment and subscribe um new to the channel hit that subscribe button and yeah i'm out peace